one of the things that recently happened in the United States I want to bring to your attention. Those of you who have gone to Las Vegas, Nevada, have recently witnessed where they have built a replica or tried to build a replica of Horm Akit, one of the most ancient colossals, not only built right here on the African continent, but the most ancient colossal on the planet Earth. And they made him with blue eyes and uh, white skin. And not one word is said that this is an African architectural structure and even put a pyramid and they even have Tut's hut. Right. So the sad thing is, is that people from all over the world go here and not one word is mentioned that this is an African architectural structure. Not one word is mentioned that this belongs to African people. And the sad thing is, is that many Africans who go there and spend their money don't even realize it themselves. And the rooms are called Tut's Hut. As Dr. John Henry Clark, another grand master teacher of ours, would say, that which is sacred to us has been desecrated. And not only has it been desecrated, but we have been taught to laugh at its desecration. That's a shame. All people who are a people must preserve their ancient sites. For us to be a people, we must have something that is ancient that belongs to us. So when you look up at the face of Horm Akkad, you can see where Napoleon, who came here in 1798 and had 21 cannon, his generals, line up 21 cannons and blow the nose off. And George Washington, who was part of the Illuminati, Benjamin Franklin, and uh, Andrew Jackson. That's why they named Memphis, Tennessee off of Menefer, Memphis, where we're going in a few minutes, trying to design from the Grand Masters. So they know they were stealing the people from the African continent and stealing the knowledge as well. So let's go up on the high wall and see more of Horm Akkad and deal more in depth with the history, the true history of this Grand Master who came up out of pre-dynastic Egypt. Not the fourth dynasty, but pre-dynastic who was part of the real Horus King who was deified as a god. The first deification as God as a man. Horm Akkad. Something, something to be old. Mm -hmm. Oh, your trip it hasn't even begun yet. I, I know. I just, <laughs> I just I went overwhelmed. And went to America and brainwashed the people to death. Well, they had well, how do you keep a people with slaves? That's right. You got to take away their story. You got to take right. away what is sacred to them, and then you desecrate and they, it. And they So brothers and sisters, you are at uh, one of the most spectacular sites right here, and that is Horm Akit, who the Greeks call the Sphinx. Over 240 feet long and over 65 feet high. Keep in mind, if you look at his ears, six feet tall, that means you can stand inside of his ears. Look how massive this colossal is. Standing here from the dawn of time, who the Arabs call him Abu Hal, or meaning the great father. And truly the great father of time, and now, through documentation and excavations, some have even documented that Horm Akkad may go back to the time of the Badarian age. Been uh, reconstruction have taken place down through the ages. Uh, many European uh, Egyptologists have said that this is Kafra of the fourth dynastic period. But if you look at the Prognathus jaw, he looks nothing like Horm uh, uh, well, Kafra. Let's go and see, as I said, in pre-dynastic times, representing the Shimsu Haru, Let's go back and see who Horm Aki goes back to. With a little twa, who our ancestors, even known as the Sebenetos, yes. who was during that time of the pre-dynastic period known as the twa and even best. That's where you see his origins go back to, who the Africans built this. So here we have all proof and documentation of where the origin of Horm Aki, and all who comes before him, like the Europeans you see here, have to look up at this and see the beginning when Napoleon was documented in Los Angeles Times, documented in Los Angeles Times, that when Napoleon visited the Sphinx in 1798, everything but the head had been buried in sand, although his uh, soldiers reputedly used the head for target practice. But we know it's a new day today, and it's the first day today. So you may not grasp where you have been until you go back and lay your eyes down and Horm Akkad come into your sleep. Well, Horm Akkad digs deep down into your, uh, what they call REM sleep, and come up and said, you came back to visit me. <laughs> but here you, where the kings came between the pole, where you get the grand master's grip of the